we've got this morning is uh, a very eagerly anticipated gun. And that's a uh, Benelli 828U Sporter. So I will just show you, Paul. Can you tell me yep. if that's focusing in? The end of the box. Uh, yeah, it has now. Yep. Yeah. So it should say 828U That's it. Sporting. FSV 828U Sport 30 inch. Now, this is unopened from the factory, the same as the last couple of videos that we've done. And they've literally come into stock about five minutes ago. So I thought that we'd do an unboxing video from the factory. Turn my phone off. So, unboxing from the factory. Now, the early ones of these came out in Gainda. So you had 26, 28, and then they were later followed by 30s. These are what I've been waiting to see, which is the sporting version. Unfortunately, I haven't done as much research on it as I should have done. Uh, it's uh, just a new gun to the market. And uh, let's open it up and uh, have a look at it together. There you go, mate. Do you want to bring the camera over? Well, that lining stands out, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. So this one differs, Paul, in the fact that it's about a pound heavier in weight than the early gun, or the, the game gun. What's that say? John Hughes. Join us. Join us. Up, yeah, upside down to you. <laughs> yeah, I can't read either, yeah. can I? I can't read either. So, I think these are sealed, Paul, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm not going to open that up. That's for... Uh, that's for the guy that buys the gun, basically, to, to open that up and have a little look in it. Is that going to be your, your chokes and well, some pieces in there? What's really nice about these 828s, Paul, is because it's not a traditional headed up to the action, basically. It's not a traditional over and under. You can adjust this stock. I believe on the game gun that there was about 48 different positions for cast on, cast off, drop at heel, drop at comb, which is something that you can adjust yourself or with a gunsmith in a shop, it can be adjusted a lot, lot easier than a standard over and under, basically. Semi-autos are easy to do, <clears throat> but this one, um, this one is an over and under that you can adjust like a semi-auto. So let's, let's get it out of the box, basically, and have a look at a few of the things that are on it. So we've got some nice extended chokes there, Paul. Yep. For uh, there'll be Benelli's own extended chokes. Now, from the ones I've had, to get the fore end release catch to move, you do need to just grip the fore end ever so slightly. Make sure you're doing it on the bridge, not in the middle, and break the nice carbon fibre rib. Mm. Just grip the fore end ever so slightly, press the fore end release cap, and the fore end will come off. Find somewhere nice and safe, like I keep saying, don't drop the fore end when it's brand spanking new. And yes, take that off there, take that off there, take that off there, and let's pop the gun together. Now, this is on Beretta's hinge pin or stub pin design, basically, Paul, which has got two uh, hinges machined into the side of the action, which is very much, oh, oh, first go, very much like a, a 686 silver pigeon. And that's where the similarity finishes, basically, Paul. Mm -hmm. So there, there we go. And again, I haven't done the, uh, I haven't done the, the research on it. I could have a look on the internet and it would tell us what the overall weight of the gun was. And in a minute, we'll pop it back down. Yeah, right? we'll work it down. <clears throat> in a minute, I will weigh it so as, uh, so as we know exactly. So we've got a slightly stepped rib on that one. I don't know if that's coming out on the camera properly. 
but we've got yeah we've got that a slight stepped rib on that one and we've got parted barrels or separated barrels just with a, a piece at the end sorry let's get it on the camera we've got separated barrels just with a piece of the rib will come up close to that yeah. as well yeah 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 So, separated barrels. Yeah. Now they do that for they do that for heat transfer basically. They do that for lightweight on the barrels, and they do it for aesthetics. There's there's three or four different reasons that they do it. Also, Paul, yeah. you can see the rib. Yep. Interestingly enough, what they've done is they've machined a centerpiece, just in the centre of that rib, that sort of Wavy. Yeah, we've got that coming out. But is that is it still flat? Oh no, it's no, just, it's, yeah, it's concave. Just in there, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's concave. Let's try and focus in on it. There we are. Yeah, it's in right up to the bead. Now is that tapered or is that parallel again? I think that's parallel. To be honest with you, same as the DT11 we had. It's, it's, oh, let me just move this box, Paul, <laughs> and I'll get a rule, I'll get a rule, and we will measure a few things on it, basically, measure a few things, I think that's quite a nice looking one, that, it's very nice looking, Paul, very nice looking, so, are there many one, guns that have like without separated barrels? Uh, there is a few. They mainly on skeet guns, to be honest with you, to get the weight off of the barrels and bring it more towards the hand or the centre of the the gun, the action basically. Now, if I roll that that way, Paul, yeah, would you just hold that so as I can measure? Now, yep. this is a very very big ruler. <laughs> it's a meter rule, I think. What have we got? 11 mil, 11 mil here at the uh, action, and we've got 11 mil at the muzzle, yeah, so it's a parallel rib on that one. Now, mechanically, Paul, internally, this gun is not like any other Beretta product it is wholly Benelli's own product basically we've got some uh, preservative oil and grease on it from the factory now we've got nice matte black action you've got a true sporting stock on it which is quite deep whereas the game guns were a little bit shallower you've got a nice now if I Put that up here. Yeah. Can you see the palm swell? Let's try and get it right on top. Yep. So this is a true right-handed gun, and I'm assuming you can get left handies in the future, but that's a, a nice palm swell, not too big. Not too big, just feels nice and comfortable. And I believe this is Benelli's progressive recoil or progressive balancing system. And I think when you have a look on the internet, you'll see that this recoil system goes right up inside the stock here. We've got a nice piece of a nice piece of figured walnut on it. Nicely oil finished. You've got Benelli's trademark in the pistol grip there. Now I'm not going to start taking this gun apart, apart Paul, because I've I've never taken one apart, and I don't think the best thing to do would be to do it on camera. <laughs> Now, say so I wasn't going to open it up because it is for the customer to look at. But let's open this up and have a little look inside <laughs> it. Let's open it up and have a little look inside. Ah, slide that out there. Slide that out there. This is the first time I've opened one up of the 828 use and had a look. I was quite eager to do this one, being as the fact that it is the new Sporter. So we've got Benelli's instruction manual, which again 
have a race for it before you start pulling and yanking at things. So what chokes have we got in there? We've got an, 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 uh, that looks like an improved cylinder, five notches. We've got a three quarter there, two notches. We've got a full one notch. And what's going to be in the end of the gun is going to be a quarter and a half. So I believe this piece, and again, Paul, I've not, I've not done the research, I've not looked, which some people say I should have done, but I believe that takes the trigger guard out, the uh, trigger assembly. I believe we put this inside here, but I don't, I'm not 100% on that. So you've got a nice metal choke key with a thread cleaner on it to keep your threads nice and clean. And these look like barrel weights, to be honest with you. Could be stock weights, I suppose. But we've got some weight in, some weights there. Let's use this nice thing here. So we've got some weights. And these are your shims that go in the head of the stock here, Paul, for your cast on, cast off, yeah. drop at heel and drop at toe, or drop at comb, sorry. And these... So will it have any cast on that one that's in there at the minute? Or? It, it will have a little bit, a little bit on it, Paul. Let me just have a look. Let me just have a look. Always check. Always check. Uh, it's got about a quarter of an inch on it to start with Paul from the factory and as for drop it's probably got about two and a quarter inches of drop on it about two and a quarter inches of drop on that so these when you read the instruction manual and it will outline what you need to do with the different markings that are on them so this one is a Z Paul this one yes. is a Z, uh, this one is an A, and what it's to do with is the different thicknesses of them, basically. Is that focusing? Yeah, got that, yeah. It's the different thicknesses that give you the drop. Now, these pieces here, these do the cast, okay? Now, if you see, depending what way you put it, will give you your cast on and cast off. And again, depending what way you put it, orientate it up or down, that will give you your different cast at your different drops of height on the comb. And if you look, these are in separate places and the holes are ever so slightly bigger. It's it's just another just another little video pull to show people. What we have, what we what we've got, what we what we are interested in. I've eagerly awaited this gun because it is the sporting version. It is new to the market, and yeah, new to the UK. Well, we've done the video about ten minutes after it was delivered. Do you know what, Paul? I don't even think it was ten minutes. No. I, I I think it arrived and and you came up and and we got the was job that, done. Was that a twenty eight or a thirty? That's a down. thirty, Paul. Now I believe at the initial outset that it will be thirties only. Thirty twos will come later. Twenty eights may come. They may not. So yeah, we only got sent the one, or did we have a few of them? Coming? Three. We got three. So this John us <laughs> is join us. Yes, jo yes, Paul. Yeah. Join us. We won't open that up. We've already opened seen. this up. Yeah, and your instruction books, which tells you how to open and close it. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? <clears throat> so that there, Paul, you will find that in every Benelli shotgun you purchase. And that's his birth certificate, basically. That's in the factory so they can, they can tell what gun goes with what part. So, 828U, Sporter, what's that say? The Sporting Over and Under, and it's a Power Bore, which is Benelli's new Creo Bore, back boring system. It's, it's Benelli's own system, basically. So, yeah, just a little video, Paul. We've shown the inside of the box. We've shown the inside of the box. Uh, we've shown mm. the gun. Put my turn screw away. <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah thanks very much